Slovak police force, we have found some illegal activity on your Slovak identity card for drug trafficking, money laundering, and more suspicious activities. If you want to resolve the case as soon as possible, then press 1 to talk. Your call has been transferred to the National Foreign Slovak Police. How can I help you today? Hello? Oh, sorry, I just got a call from you stating that my ID is implicated in money laundering or something? Sir, so I believe my department called you Foreign Slovak Police Department then mm -hmm. they transferred to my explanation. So sir, when you received the call, did you press 1? Yes, I pressed 1. Okay, and did you get any case ID or any patch number so I can grab your file and check the reason why no. the department is trying to call you? No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, did you get any message? No, not really. Did you? No. Okay, so, so I need to grab your file and check the reason why my department is trying to call you. Just give me your name and your postal code so I can grab your file and check the reason why my department is trying to call you. Mm -hmm. My name is Edward. And your last name, sir? Snowden. Uh, so your postal code? 84102. Let me grab your file and check the reason, okay? Sure, thank you. Yes, sir, you there? Yes, I am still here. Sir, I have your file right in front of me now. Now listen to me carefully. Mm -hmm. The reason you receive a call from our department is because we have received some orders and notices from the law enforcement agencies to suspend your national ID number and all your personal information mm -hmm. with immediate effect because they have received some suspicious trails of information under your name. So do you have any idea about this activity or not? No, not really. I, I don't. How? Well, let me tell you so that here in the city of here in the city of Bratislava, someone is using your ID for doing illegal things like money laundering as well as drug trafficking and some serious allegations under your name. So you don't have any idea about these drug trafficking and money laundering activities, right? Not really, no, I don't. Okay, so, so I believe that the uh, you are living in Bratislava, so did yeah. you ever lost your wallet or any kind of picture ID in the past? No, I, I did not. You have all your identity, like your DL, your passport, your ID. Yes. All of that, yes, right? right? With you. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, and have you ever shared your personal information with anyone? No, like your not cousin, really. Your co-workers, your friend, no, like your debit card number, your credit may, card number? May, maybe once, maybe once my debit card number was lost, so I issued new one, but this was like two years ago. Oh, that was two years ago, okay. Mm. Okay, so, so just take a pen and paper and write down all the information about this case. When you are ready, let me know. Uh, okay. Uh, I can't find a pen here. No, I can't find a pen. Just take your just take your time. No, right now I can't really find a pen. But you can go ahead. So do you have a so do you have a notes in your phone? You can write it there. 
I, I tried to remember it. So you can. But you have to write it down. I got this is a confidential information, and let me tell you, mm -hmm. the lines on which we are talking are being recorded and monitoring by 44 countries of Europe as a piece of evidence. Okay. So 14. we have to. So we have to. Uh, we have to receive this evidence in the court of justice as a piece of evidence. Yes, sir. You, you said That's 44 countries of Europe. And it's been. It's been monitored. The call. Yeah, it's been yeah, it's been recorded and monitored by three major governments of Slovak. Okay. Okay. So, so you don't find any pen right now? Uh, I I can try to to type on my phone. Sure, go ahead. Okay, so first, let me tell you the line. The information I'm gonna tell you is very confidential, so make sure do not share this information with anybody else. Yeah, sure. And if it is possible, find a find a silent place to talk. Are you alone right now? Yes, I am alone. Okay, so write down my name. Mm -hmm. This side, investigating officer mm -hmm. Rick Mason. Your your name is what? Rick Mason, R I C K, Rick. Okay, Rick Mansion. Or Mason. Mason, M M A S O N, Mason. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Yes? Now write, now write down my batch ID number mm -hmm. D M C, D as in David, M as in Michael, D as in Charlie, D M C. Mm -hmm. D M C? Seven zero one zero eight nine. Eight nine. Okay. Now you can write down your case ID number. The case which is going under your name mm -hmm. A R. Mm -hmm. Alpha Romeo. Yeah, R is in Romeo. He is in Adam. R is in Romeo. Four one five. So Alpha Romeo. Four one five. Right, right. Okay. Eight five nine. Eight five nine. Okay, I get that. Yes. So could you repeat the case ID number again? Yes. Yeah, so A R like Alpha Romeo four one five eight five nine uh, five nine. Yeah. Right. So, so now I'm gonna read out your legal case file. Before I do that, I have to verify that I am talking to the right person or not. Yes. So just verify the last three digits of your any ID and make sure do not give me the whole number because you know this is a confidential information and you are also an educated person. Mm -hmm. So do not give me the whole number, just give me the last three digits of your any ID like your passport, your yeah. driving license, your ID, anything. And do not sure. give me the whole number. Four seven three. I told it like three times. Yeah, it's four seven three. Sir, that's my ID. My my ID. The last digits of my ID number is four seven three. Okay, sir. Now I'm gonna read out your legal case file. I told you already. Mm -hmm. The lines on which we are talking right now are being recorded mm -hmm. by three major government of Slovakia. Slovakia Police Department, okay. International Court of Justice, and Ministry of Justice. Okay. So do not interrupt me while I'm reading out the information about your case. I will give you fair enough chance to speak once I am done. Is that clear? Yes, that's clear. Now listen to me very, very carefully. The investigation started on your name when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Bratislava and the car contained some blood spots and drug residues inside it. Hence, after the investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and your national ID number. And there are also two addresses that were linked with the title of that car. And when the police
police officers raided that house. Unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. But we have recovered like 22 pounds of cocaine and some documents from financial institutions like BUV Bank, Tetra Bank, ING Bank, KBC Bank, Union Credit Bank, and many other more than bank accounts. And these all are registered under your name and your personal information. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, Mr. Edward, that 46,000 of euros has been wired from these accounts locally and internationally, which is very suspicious to us. So that is the reason there is a case of drug trafficking and money laundering is on your name. So if you have any information about this suspicious activity, then do let me know, Mr. No, I, I don't see any suspicious activity on my accounts. And you don't have like 10 or 15 bank accounts and like million of you under your account, which is totally illegal, right? Of course. But I don't have those accounts. They are not mine. You only have two accounts. I have two accounts, yes. Okay, so let us be on the line. If you say you don't have any information, let me check your past records and your bank information and see what we have got, okay? Sure. Just be on the line. Yes, I am. Yes, sir? You there? Yeah, I'm still here. You see, we have also checked your past records and all your banking information and we found that that you have no criminal record in the past and we also believe that this might have not done by you we believe that you are not a criminal you are just a victim of the identification theft thank you that someone has stolen your identity mm -hmm. and has the access to all your personal information so sir we believe that you are not the criminal you are just a victim okay thank you so as an obedient citizen let me help you Okay, please. Let me transfer your calls to my senior authorities. Mm -hmm. They will let you know how we are going to resolve this case, okay? Okay, Just yes. Be please. on the line. Thank Don't you. Don't hang up the call. Okay. Thanks for holding up the line. Your call has been connected to the senior investigating officer from the Federal Court of Justice. How are you doing today? Hi. Well, I am doing, I was just doing fine until I received a call that my ID is being Im implicated in some criminal activities. So, did you understand the case or shall I have to explain you back? I believe your colleague has explained to me somehow the case and she said that I am a victim. So I don't know how we can proceed from there. Okay, let me explain you. So, according to the case file, sir, we found some illegal activity on your name in the city of Bratislava. Mm -hmm. Someone is misusing your information and your identity for the criminal activities. With the help of your identity, they are created more than 10 bank accounts and they are transferring illegal payments for the terrorist activities to the broad countries and also they are renting car, renting a house, to supplying a drug to the criminals, to the students, to the processors and because of these things on your name there is an arrest warrant under your identity and we have orders to block your all the documents which is connected on your name like your passport, your driving license will be seized and suspended permanently but we check your passport sir and we have found that you don't have any criminal record with the government. That's why we are trying to help you from this situation, okay? So you don't lose anything because of the criminal. Okay, I thank you. Understand. Thank you, yes. Yes, I totally understand. Okay. Right now, sir, what we are going to do now, we are going to record each and every conversation between you and our department. Mm -hmm. And after that, we are going to make some more evidence so we can show to the government that you are not a criminal, okay? Thank so you. So, according to the case file, sir, the mm -hmm. criminal is 
dealing with the more than 10 bank accounts on your name. So are you the owner of 10 bank accounts and 7 debit cards? No, I am not. Okay, so how many banks do you have which is legally belong to you? I have just one. You have only one bank? Yes, only one. But you give the statement to the, my previous officer that you are dealing with the two banks. No, I have two accounts but one bank. Okay, you have a two account but you have one bank. Yes. Okay, and may I know the name of the bank so I can easily differentiate your bank with the criminal one? It's a Tatra Bank. Okay, and what kind of account do you have in the Tatra Bank? A normal account and a, a saving account. Okay, a normal and second one? Is a saving one. Okay. And sir, are you dealing with any kind of cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, Coinbase, Bitpanda? <coughs> no, not really. You have only one bank account, which is name is Tetra Bank, and you have two accounts in that bank. First one is normal, and second one is savings, right? Yes. Okay. And do you have any other bank accounts apart from Slovakia? Do you have any international bank account? No, I don't. Okay. And I believe that you have a plastic card from the Tetra Bank. How many plastic cards do you have? One or two? I have two. The debit card or credit? You have two cards? Yes. Okay. So one is the debit card and second one is the credit card, right? Yes. Are you sure that you have credit card as well? Yes. I have a debit card and a credit card. Okay. And... What is the limit of your credit card, sir? I believe 5,000. And how much you already use? I didn't use any. You don't use anything, okay. No. So, sir, right now I'm going to differentiate your Sweden hard and money with the criminal ones because on your name the criminal is transferring fake and original payments to the abroad countries for the terrorist activity. So right now we are going to transfer all the money from your name to the fraud department. So we are going to differentiate your money. So when we are going to transfer all the fake payments from the criminal account, your money will be saved to you, okay? So in your normal bank, how much fund are you holding? Any roughly idea like 100, 200? You don't need to give me the exact amount, just roughly idea. You mean in my normal account? Yes, in your normal. Any roughly idea. So we can put that information on the case file. Well, I, I believe I have few thousands. Uh, what, uh, not few thousands, sir. You need to give me the, some statements so I can put that information on the case file. Like 3,000, 5,000. I have 12,500. Okay, and what about the savings? Sorry, C can you say again? Hello? Yes. And, yes, and what about the savings? How much fund do you have in your savings? Savings, I have 6,000, I believe. Okay. And the gold is connected. Wow. Oh. Yes, sir, we got disconnected. Yeah, sorry, the call got disconnected, yeah. No worries, sir. If any chance, sir, we got disconnected, you need to uh, make your cell phone free. You don't need to be panicked. If any chance we got disconnected, I'm going to call you on the WhatsApp on this same number, okay? You just need to wait for my call. Okay, sure. Yes. So right now, sir, I'm go ahead and give you the instructions and the rules and regulations to remove your name from this situation, okay?
Okay. Yeah. So you need to listen it very carefully. And before you follow that rules and regulations, sir, I need to give you the two federal warnings. And anyhow, you have to follow that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so first federal warning is that, sir. This is a recordable line, and this call are recorded by the International Court of Justice and the embassies. So mm -hmm. please don't try to mute the call and do not try to put the call on a hold. Because right now we have to record each and every statement from your side and we are going to represent this call recording in front of the jury members in front of the courthouse, okay? Okay, sure. Yeah, and second federal warning is that, sir, this is a case of identification theft. Might be the real criminal, could be your neighbor, it could be your friend, it could be your colleague. So you need to keep all this information very confidential. And once your name will be cleared, you can share with anyone. But for the 24 hours, you need to keep all this information very confidential, okay? And you need to sit alone while the investigation, okay? Yep, yeah, clear. Yes, that's perfect. So, sir, as I told you that, we have orders to block your identity. And if I go directly do that, you know that your the bank account is connected with the ID. So when your ID will be discontinued, your bank is also going to be suspended and your money will be transferred permanently. In that case, you're going to lose all the amount which you have in your bank account. But I talked to the foreign minister and ministry. They provide you some procedure and instructions to safeguard your assets. So right now, I'm going to provide you, okay? Okay. Yeah. So but, very carefully, okay? but but can I um, can I call my lawyer first? Uh, sir, of course you can do that, sir. But for the twenty-four hours, you need mm -hmm. to keep all this information very confidential because, sir, this is an international case. That's not your state case, and that's not the country case. The five embassies are dealing with that case, and if you do any kind of thing by yourself might be the real criminal get the knowledge and they will simply run away from the situation and if they run away so you have to face all the illegal activity on your name you have to face the legal trouble of more than five years and i believe that you don't want to face the legal trouble right but i, I didn't do anything so why should i go for five years in jail you you don't do anything sir that's why we are trying to help you don't mm -hmm. do anything but all the illegal activity and all the fake and forginal payment it's under your name. The mm -hmm. criminal is using your identity, so it means in the government eyes, you are that person who doing that kind of activity. Mm -hmm. So, you have to follow all the rules and regulations of the International Court of Justice. You don't need to do anything by yourself, because if you do any one single mistake, mm -hmm. might be the criminal get the knowledge and they will run away. So, you have to take the responsibility for that. Okay, so okay. what what should I do now? You don't need to panic, sir, because right now no one going to ask your account number, your credit card number, your debit card number, and no one going to ask for your one-time password as well, okay? Okay. So if we are not going to ask that kind of uh, silly question, so we don't have any bad intention, right? And if we don't have any bad intention, I'm not going to give you that kind of information that you are the case of money laundering, you have the case of drug trafficking, right? It's not any benefit to give you the, that kind of information. So why I'm wasting my time? Because you are a genuine person. We are trying to help you from this situation. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yes. I hope you understand. Thank you, sir. So, why not, sir? I'm going to give you the instruction and procedure to remove your name from this situation, okay? Okay. Yeah. So, in the money laundering case, subsection C of 1948, you are not authorized to have the funds with you in form of cash in your bank, and you are not authorized to withdraw the funds. Anyhow, you have to show to the government that this fund is totally belongs to you for 24 hours due to the verification. And in other aspects, if you are hiding your money from the government, then when I suspend your identity, each and everything which is on your name, like your bank accounts, your passport, will be seized and suspended permanently. In that case, you're going to lose all the amount which you have on your bank account. 
But I talked to the foreign minister and ministry, they will give you some procedure information. So they just provide you a government safety locker for 24 hours. You need to save and secure your money from your bank accounts to the government safety locker for 24 hours. And best thing of this security locker is that, sir, you are going to create that locker by yourself. You have the ID of that locker. You have the password of that locker. So you can access that account for 24 hours. And once you're going to receive the new identity, we are going to link your new ID with your bank. So your bank will be regenerated and your name will be cleared from the situation. And once your name will be cleared from the situation, we are going to arrange a meeting with my two representatives. They will come at your place. They will hand over all the documents. They were going to hand over the new identity on your name. So tomorrow I'm going to fix the meeting at what time you will be free to meet the officer. Maybe 11, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Okay. Yes. So at the 10 a.m. I'm going to arrange a confirmation call from my department. You just need to confirm the time and place where you want to meet them and when you want to meet them. Okay. But right now, the main concern is that we have only uh, 45 to one, uh, 45 minutes to one hour to save and secure your asset. Because after one hour, your ID will be discontinued, your bank will be frozen, your money will be deducted, and we are not able to show to the government that you did. Legal fund is yours and that fund is the criminal one. So anyhow, you have to keep your money inside the security locker, okay? And you need to create the locker by yourself. So okay. are you ready to follow that procedure, sir? And how can I create this locker? I will I will guide you how you can create the locker, okay? I will explain you step by step. But first I need to record the statement that you are ready so I can talk to the my senior authority, they will guide you. They will uh, give you the instruction and procedure. So, so are you ready? Uh, I don't know if I'm ready because I'm in the car right now. So Sir, that's you. Uh, first, you do one thing. Yeah. You just need to park your car somewhere, okay? And tell me one thing: that your identity is with you right now. Yeah, my IDs are with me. And your debit card? Yes, my debit card, my credit sure. card, everything. Yeah. Right now it's with you on the car, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So, sir, I will explain you how you can create the locker, okay? With the help of your cell phone. I'm going to guide uh, you, but I, first, before we start that mm -hmm. procedure, I need your statement, okay? So, because we are recording your statement, and I'm not authorized to convince you or force you, because it's your money, it's your life. So now, give me the statement, are you ready? To follow that procedure. I, I don't think I'm ready right now because I don't have internet on my phone. So I if, if if you give me like ten minutes I can go upstairs and mm -hmm. maybe we can do it. So uh, after ten minutes you are going to follow that right? Yes if 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 you can stay on the line or we can do that in ten minutes if you can call me back in ten minutes. Uh, no 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 listen uh, right now you are going to the, your home, right? Yes, I'm still in the car. Okay, do one thing. Do one thing, sir. Just put me on speaker mm -hmm. and go words to your home, okay? And okay. we are we have to connect it on this recordable line. Make sure don't try to disconnect the line from your side, okay? Okay. Because each and every activity we have to record it. Okay. okay. Right now I'm I'm at home. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. So I told you that, sir, we have to create a security locker with the help of your cell phone. And you are going to create all the things under your name, under your information, okay? Because if you keep that money in your bank account, so your bank will be going to be suspended after one hour and your money will be deducted. So in that case, we have to shift your money from your bank accounts to the safety locker. And it's, the locker is created under your name, under your information. but. I'm going to guide you how you can make that, okay? So, okay. in that case, sir, uh, what kind of cell phone are you using? Like, it's the Apple or it's Android? Uh, actually, I can I can use the laptop. Uh, no, sir, you have to use your uh, cell phone. I, ha I have to use the cell phone? Yes. Yeah, but so what kind of cell phone do you have, sir? It's the Apple or it's Android? It's an Apple. It's an 
app also. Okay, so you can use your computer as well, but you uh, know what is your uh, login ID password of your bank? Of course. Okay, so now sir, uh, just open your laptop. Mm -hmm. And just go to the Google. Okay. And search their Ultra Viewer. Should I spell the name? Sir, search what? With the, sir, you need to download our software. With the help of the software, we are going to record your screen for the evidence that you are doing all this. Uh, uh, you are doing all this procedure correctly. You don't do any kind of mistake from your side. And after that, we need to check your screen that what is the next step and what you are doing right now. So I need to see your screen so I can guide you like what is the next step and where you need to click on, right? Mm -hmm. So sure. go to the Google and search on the Google Ultra Viewer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Download. Should I spell the name Ultra Viewer? Ultra Viewer. Okay, I'm I'm doing it right now. Yeah, should I spell the name? Okay. <coughs> it's downloading. Uh, not really. Okay, let me explain, you. explain you. Yeah. Ultra Viewer. It's U L T R A. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do have it, but is this available for Mac users? Because I have a MacBook. You have a MacBook. Yeah. Oh, so do one thing, sir. Uh -huh. Just download the another application. Just remove the Ultra Viewer. Okay. And search there any desk. So this is another one that, that is supported on, on MacBook? Yes, on the MacBook. You and need to search any desk. Any desk. D -E -N -Y -D -E -S -K. Uh. Yeah. Any okay. desk. Okay, Remote. yes. I have any desk. Now, try to install in your computer. Do you see the download now option? Yeah, I see download for Mac OS. Okay, and start downloading. Yes, it's downloaded. It's downloaded. Now try to open that. Did you open? From internet, this this Now install this application and open that. <coughs> no, it doesn't if it want. If not work, it doesn't want it's to. It's not working on your laptop. No, it doesn't want to start. Said this app is from unknown developer. Oh. No, sir, that's not unknown developer. This app is authorized by the government. You can check on the app store as well because the Apple is the highest security. And you can check this app is also available on the app store. Do one thing: just open the app store on your phone and search the any test. We have to make a locker with the help of your cell phone. <coughs> Are you on the app store, sir? Hello? Uh, wait, app store. Yes, I am on the app store. Any desk. Now, now sir. On the app store, any desk, the same application. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't show me anything. It show me remote mouse and keyboard. 
on the App Store. Oh, what did you on the App Store? Yes, I there put the search bar which you can search anything like WhatsApp, Facebook. Now go to the search bar and type there A as in Alpha. Sorry, what what should I what should I type? I'm in the App Store. Now click on the search bar and type there A as in Alpha. Yes. Yes, I have any day. N as in November. Yes, why yes, as you install that application? I I wrote that in the App Store and it doesn't show me anything but remote mouse and keyboard. Sir, how it's a con a control no control it, it's written control media playback for remote mouse and keyboard. Listen, listen my P put a wrong alphabet, okay? Now I'm going to tell you the application name. Mm -hmm. Just write it down. A as in alpha. Yes. N as in November. Yes. Y as in yellow. Yes. Did that. D as in delta. Yes. E as in echo. Yes. S as in summer. Yes. K as in kite. Now search this application and the first application is any desk remote. The application color in the red and white. The application color should be in the red and white. The, the, any desk remote. There, there is nothing. Um, okay, to be clear, we are talking about App Store on the Mac. Because I have a Mac. On, not on the Mac. Not on the Mac, on the cell phone, sir. Yeah, but on on the phone I cannot do both. I cannot speak with you and and uh, do some something else. You can do, sir. But do one thing. Just put me on speaker, and if you had any mm -hmm. earbuds, any headset, with you try to connect with your phone, and after that, just try to use your phone. It 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 doesn't allow me to go out. So right now you're making the excuses. I'm not doing that kind of thing first time. I'm, I'm, I'm not. That kind yes. Of, yes, but there is a setting. I know that I, what? Sir, your MacBook is not working, so it's not my default. Anyhow, you have to do by with the help of your cell phone. But can you navigate me? What What should I do? You need to download the Anydex and after that we are going to create a locker for you and you are going to create by yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it didn't it didn't work. Okay. The it, it didn't work. Anydesk did not work. And your ultra but ultra Ultra but viewer are, did not Sir. Yes. Sir, sir. You're trying to install in your computer. That's why it's not working. Try to do it by yeah, but uh, I don't understand. I just put me on speaker. Just put me on speaker. Mm -hmm. And swipe up your screen and go to the home page. Go to my home page? Yeah, on the cell phone. We have so many apps on the home page. Wait. Now open the app store on the phone. And now search the Anydex. Did you find that? Yes, I, I found I found it on the iPhone. Okay, now try to install that. It's installing? No, it's ask for a password. So just put your password, your ID password. Yeah, I don't remember my password. You don't remember the Apple ID password? I have too many passwords. It's not my important one, this Apple ID. Try, try to find it. Try to find it. Did you find the password? No, I'm still trying. Still trying. Try to remember the password, sir. Hello?
Yes, yes, I'm I'm here. Sorry, I'm here. Did you watch that? Sorry. Did you find the password? No, no. Try to remember the password, sir. Okay, this is this is the last trial. Oh, okay. Do one thing, sir. Uh, okay, if your cell phone is not working right now, so we are going to arrange another method for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, first of all, sir, how much far is bank from your location? 20 minutes, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So, you don't know what is the password of your Anydex, right? No, it's it got Apple locked ID. out. It got locked out. Okay, do one thing, sir. Just go over to your bank, and how much time you will take to reach here? It will be around twenty, thirty minutes. Thirty to twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay, and. Okay, now just let me ask my seniors that what is the next step because you are facing the situation on your cell phone. So they are going to provide you a new method to resolve this matter, okay? Mm -hmm. Let me ask to my seniors, okay? Give me a few seconds, okay? Okay, sure. Hello? Yes, hello? So your postcode is 84102, am I right? 84102, yes. Eight four one zero two. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So sir, do one thing. Last time try to install the Anydex on your laptop. Do one thing, just open your laptop and go to the Google. Do you know how to do you know uh, do you know how to install any DAX or any software on the laptop? Have yeah, ever... I'm, I'm usually doing it from, from the App Store. So on like the App Store, the... there is no any DAX, right? No, there is no any DAX. No result. Okay. There is no any DAX. And did you... Uh, remember the Apple ID password? For the MacBook, it installs directly. It doesn't ask me for a password. Okay. So, sir, um, there is any kind of a bit machine nearby you on your location? Bit machine? What? Bitcoin machine? Oh, I don't know. What? What is bit machine? What is that? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, sir. Now you need to do one thing, sir. First, you need to go to your bank, okay? And you need to withdraw all the funds which you have, okay? Oh my God, why? Because, sir, your uh, Anydex and your computer is not working right now, right? Yeah, it doesn't work, but why? What what this so, has to so do right with? What does sir, this I has to do with my, with, with my money in, in my bank sir, account? I don't understand. No, 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 sir. Right now, you are going to take your all the money from your bank account. And after that, we are going to create a locker for you with the help of an ATM machine. You need to put your money into the machine for 24 hours. And you have the receipt with you. You have the evidence with you that the money which you are saving into the machine, okay? And I will guide you how you can save your money into the machine, okay? I, I don't know if that's a good idea, to be honest. Sir, if I, if I explain you each and everything in a one time, you got confused. First, you need to go to your bank, okay? And you need to withdraw all the money which you have. You need to left some funds. Like you have approximately in the both bank, you have 9,000, right? So you need to withdraw 8,000 from your bank account. 
and after that when your money will be uh, withdrawn we need you need to go to the uh, bit machine it's a kind of machine we are going to create a locker on that atm machine and you're going to insert that money into the machine for 24 hours and you have the receipt with you and when the officer come tomorrow you need to show that receipt and your money will be come back to you okay so you are not sending the money to someone else you are just safe and securing your machine uh, money into the machine for 24 hours okay so you don't need to worry about that yeah but I, I, why i can't secure it somewhere else like in my home sorry why i can't secure because the money sir, in my home because sir if you keep that money with you see the government thinking that you are hiding your money from the government okay and when you are going to save your money into the machine mm -hmm. so they are, you have the receipt with you you have the legal uh, receipt with you you have to show to the government that the receipt with you and the government able to verify this funds because yeah, if sorry you take about... the money in form of cash, they are not able to verify your money, right? And they will thinking that you are hiding your money from the government because you have the legal fund with you. So now, just take out your money from the bank, and after that, you need to save and secure your money into the bit ATM machine. Okay? Uh, uh, and you are going to create. I will have to consult no, with, with my lawyer first to take that big step. To be honest. Going to follow that, sir. Your whole money will be deducted. And if you're thinking that I am the wrong person, you have the trust issue on me. So just remember one thing: from the beginning, did I ask for your account number? Did I ask your credit card number? No, right? And yeah. if I don't have any bad intention about your money, I can simply ask for that kind of thing, and I can take the money in one shot. Why should I tell you you have to do this and that thing by yourself? Did I try to do any wrong thing? From one an hour, I'm still connected with you, but I don't do any wrong things. Did I, I? Did I ask for the card number? So, sir, you have to trust on the government. You have to follow all the rules and regulations. So now, give me the statement, sir. I'm not going to force you or convince you. It's totally up to you. What do you want to do, sir? Well, I, I believe I need to first talk to my lawyer before I withdraw any money. Okay, sir. Sir, mm -hmm. if you talk to their lawyer. Mm -hmm. Your case will be spread out into the courthouse and real criminal get the knowledge. And if you have any trust issue, I can do one thing for you. I can show you that where you received the call. I can give you the proof as well. But you don't need to do anything by yourself. You get some procedure and rules and regulation. Anyhow, you have followed that procedure, okay? You don't need to do anything by yourself because you don't face that kind of situation. And you don't know how to handle that kind of case. So I can do one thing for you. I will make sure that whom you are dealing with right now, okay? I will provide you the proof. Okay. Okay. How how you how will you provide me the proof? Sorry. How how are you going to provide me the proof? Uh, no worries. You don't need to worry about that right now. I'm going to provide you the proof. That's whom you are dealing with right now. Just go to the Google, sir. Mm -hmm. On your uh, where are you searching? In on your laptop, on your mobile. On my laptop. On your laptop. Yeah. So are, on, are you on the Google now? Yes, I am on Google now. Okay. So on the Google search, you need to search a number, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to provide you. Yes. Okay, now you need to wait some second. Let me go ahead and ask my seniors that what kind of proof they will provide you, okay? Just give me some second. Okay. okay? Sure. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, so now, sir, do one thing. Just go to your Google mm -hmm. and search there plus three one. Plus three one. Give a space. Mm -hmm. Seven zero. Seven zero. Give a space. Mm -hmm. Three zero two. Mm -hmm. Give us space. Yes. Two three. Two three. Give us space. Two three again. And now search this number and tell me what you see. You see the International Court of Justice contact number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, sir, what I'm going to do now? 
as I told you that you are receiving the call from the International Court of Justice. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a small call from the same number for your confirmation that you are really dealing with the International Court of Justice. Mm -hmm. And when you receive that call, you need to match this number on the Google, okay? Okay. So now just wait for some second. Let okay. me go ahead and give you the proof and let me call you from this number. But you don't need to pick up this call, sir. From okay. this number because right now we have to connect it on the recordable line okay okay but for confirmation i give you this small call okay yeah so now just wait a second let me go ahead and give you the proof just wait a second okay let me give you the request to the my seniors they will provide you proof in a uh, two to three minutes okay Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, so now wait for the call. And when you receive the call, just say hello back to me. Now, are you receiving any call? Yes, I am receiving. Yes. And this is the same number? 31 plus 3170. I, I couldn't, I couldn't read. I'm saying that this is the same number. Yeah, could you call again? You want to call again? I, I couldn't confirm the number, sorry. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to arrange a call again, but you don't need to pick up that call, sir, because okay. right now we have to connect it on this recordable line, okay? So, plus 31703022323, The Hague, South Holland, Netherland. So, this is the same number, right? Yes, it's the same number. Now I show you that I'm calling from the Federal Court of Justice. Now it's totally up to you. Do you want to follow the procedure and do you want to lose your fund and do you want to go to the bar? Because right now your case is not a local or state case. That's the international crime, money laundering and drug trafficking. It's the biggest crime in the solo country. So now give me the statement so I can record that. What do you want to do? Mm, I, I would rather give you the statement later. I don't know now. No, no, you need to can just you... give me this statement on this recordable line. No, no. Can, can can you call me back in like 30 minutes? Sir, sir, this yes. is a, not a game which you are doing right now. Yes. I, will, I show you that I'm calling from the government. What has happened with you? Yes, yeah, sorry. We are, not I... sitting here to, we are not sitting here to follow your instructions. Yeah. Right now you are under the case. You have to follow all the rules and regulations. And I'm not sitting here to prove myself again and again. Yeah, but I, I I don't know. Can you please call me back in thirty minutes? I am I'm, I'm gonna go now. Thank no, you. I'm not. I'm not Thank authorized you. for that. I'm not authorized for that. When you are going to hang up the call, just so I hang up the call. <laughs> so this was the scammers trying to ask me to pull out the money from my bank account and put it in some mine. Uh, Bitcoin uh, machine ATMs here. They is calling again. It's calling again. So he tried to ask me to put some money. Stupid! Don't fall for the shit. So make sure if you get this kind of call, make sure you ask all the legit questions. And if you are aware, just to try to um, waste their times like like i did so it's better when you waste their time so they are not going to call somebody else and try to scam somebody else all right so this was it it was a long call <laughs> i hope the police uh, could reach to these uh, idiots and yeah hopefully they will get what they deserve okay